Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time, know that I talk about yarn, knitting, crocheting, all sorts of fun and antics that belong to yarn, knitting, and crocheting. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Have you seen where people have gone thrift shopping and stuff like that? They'll go to Goodwill or consignment stores and things like that and they get yarns and stuff. Oh my gosh. I hit the mother load of the score. I'm telling you, somebody cleaned out Nana's stash and tossed it at the Goodwill. I would just saying, you know, um, if you have a good stash, tell your family what to do with it when you go so it doesn't end up in Goodwill. People like me are going to collect it. I'm just saying, it's just going to happen. Oh my gosh, I made out. Could not believe it. I've seen other people that have gotten scores. I've gotten some stuff at thrift stores before. I got some Dazzle Air Wintuck yarn, which was like, oh my gosh, such a memory bring back. That's back in the 80s, right? And I have gotten some other things, but um, never the score like I got today. It, name brand stuff. I it just, it's discontinued. That's okay. It's still name brand stuff. All sorts of gorgeous stuff. So should we see it? I just, I'm like, I'm not like at a, at a flutter. I spent more than I should have. I'm not going to lie. I just, I did. I did. I got, I got a shopping cart and I filled it. Okay. It wasn't all the way full overflowing and everything. I'm exaggerating just a little, just, just a little. These were, um, the majority of them were $3.99 each. And there were some of them that were $2.99 and I got one, I think was a, or two of them were $1.99. So the majority were the $3.99. Let's see. Uh, now, this one, I'm going to just show because it's like one of my favorites. It's going to be such a pain to wind. This is fingering weight yarn. It, it's a most likely a wool nylon blend. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. It is a bit of a tangled hank. That is okay. I will have to take my time and wind this. Look at those colors. So this one, since it was such a tangled rat's nest mess, um... I've, I've actually done some some straightening. I have. It was it was uh, a lot worse at the store. I've done a lot of straightening. This I got for a dollar ninety nine. Holy, look at that! I don't know who the who's the dyer. I, they did a great job. It's gorgeous, and this is just going to be beautiful fun. So this is my one of my mysteries. That I'm like, yes, fun stuff. And another one of the so called mysteries. It's ready. Oh my gosh, is that not cute? So this is just a gorgeous roving style you know this was my dollar 99 gorgeous roving style light pink it feels amazing uh wool blend wool silk maybe something like that i would not doubt it with everything else that i got in this particular stash of stuff it feels it's a thick and thin yarn so it is a thick and thin and it feels absolutely amazing and it's ready to go yes i had to bring it home i had to it's okay um yeah all right I love my fingering weight yarns. Look at this. Yeah. At the thrift store. Look at this. You know when it's wound like this, that's bougie yarn. When it's wound like this, somebody, first time around, paid a lot of money. This is For the Love of Yarn. Yes. Yes, it is. For the Love of Yarn. Well, that's the name brand of it. It did have a price tag on it previously, handwritten from a local yarn store of $17.98. Again, I paid the $3.99. I have, and then, you know, Goodwill, you have to buy your own bag, so I'm tossing it back in the bag I bought. But, uh, oh, let me tell you what's in it. Oh my gosh, I, how terrible. So this is 100% Merino Nylon Blend Superwash, or 100 grams, Merino Nylon Blend Superwash Sock Weight. Wow, hand wash only. It says it's a super wash, but it also says hand wash. So there you have it. I would hand wash anyway. That's just, you know, it's the gorgeous hand dyed, beautiful blues and everything. I think um, Lanann from Nina's Knots and Crochet would probably like this because I know when she bought her arcane fiber, she got the uh, turtley color, which is blues. It's the ocean and everything turtles. But let's see. This one, Kiki something. Um, can't tell because of the uh, tag, but this one, this one I thought was amazing because this is hand dyed in Castle Rock, Colorado. So that is local to me. Uh, fingering weight sock, 80, 10, 10. So it's 80% merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. It's 462 yards, 100 grams, hand wash only. And somebody originally paid $25 for this. I paid $3.99.
all day, every day. Yes. Did I mention that I went overboard? Did I, did I, did I bring that up? Did I put that disclaimer at the beginning? Yes, yes, I did. Name brand. Yes. Manos Silk Blend. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? Oh, you know I love that color. I mean, hello, you know I love that color. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I have used this yarn before. So this is the Mano Silk Blend. It is a 75% merino extra fine wool kettle dyed. It's a 50 grams, approximately 150 yards. The color is prairie. And this was originally $14.98. And yes, I have paid $15 a hank for these in various different colors, and I've used them. And this makes an amazing scarf. I have done this, the honey cowl, which is a, uh, it looks like a very woven stitch. It's knit, but it looks very woven. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I used this and a solid and striped that through and oh my gosh, it is divine, absolutely divine. So I know this will go to good use. There's no doubt. And then also, if you wanted to do accessories with the two colors, mitts would be amazing. Fingerless mitts or make the full mitten, right? Put put the put the tips on. Um, but mittens, hats, uh, the, anything around the neck, I mean, it feels spectacular. So, of course, I couldn't just leave it. And then what's this one? Uh, Mountain Top by Classic Elite. This is a bamboo viscose uh, blend, I think, hand wash only. It's uh, 50 grams, 236 yards. This is gorgeous. Let me see if I can see. Got to get that stupid sticker off. You know, the Goodwill sticker that says, now this one was, you know, originally $9 uh, veil. Okay, so I have some other of the veil in different colors. I think I've got it in pink and I might have it in gray that I did pay the full price for. Uh, $4 to add this to my other stuff. Uh, yes, please. That's going to happen. Yes, definitely. And... I've got some uh, Manos Ser uh, Serena, I think is what it is. Three ply, baby alpaca and Pima cotton. This is Manos de del Uruguay. This is another $15 skein originally. Um, I know because it says so right there on the price tag, right? This says it is 50 grams, approximately 170 yards, dry clean or hand wash and dry flat. And the colors are divine. This is luxury fibers. Yes, I have used these. I don't have a big stash of those because they are a little bit more on the, the pricier side. Some other stuff, if you've been around for a while, you've heard me mention this Cascade 220. Cascade 220, it's named that because there's 220 yards. This is been in somebody's stash for a while because they've changed the labels and things like that. I think now if you're trying to get it, they're going to be around $15. When I first started buying them, they were eight and $9, but you know, price, inflation, etc. Again, 220 yards. It's made in Peru. It's a number four worsted weight yarn, hand wash. Um, it says using uh, size seven to eight, you're going to get 18 to 20 stitches for knitting. It doesn't say on the crochet, but we know you can crochet with anything. There you go. And it does work up wonderfully. I have made a sweater with Cascade 220 in the past for my uncle. And uh, it's it was just stunning. It, the, the stitch definition is really, really nice. It's um, not the um, super buttery soft wool but it is such a nice garment quality. So I got two of those. So 440 yards is enough to do something fun. And then look at this. Look at this fun thing. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, I, you know, Fairy Foss, I think it's, oh, Knitted Wit. I first got introduced to Knitted Wit when I was in Maryland at a local to them a yarn store, Clover Hill. And uh, I know you can get knitted wit here in Colorado. You can get it in other places because, you know, hello, yarn company shipped their yarn. Um, but I've not tried this. I've used their fingering weight, but not this. So this is a 50 grams, 72% kid mohair, 28% silk. It is called Under the Sea is the color. And this is the fairy floss. This looks fun to me. I mean, I've not, I've not really used mohair in a while and it was just you know, $4, I can, I can do that. Let me play. So any suggestions on this? Because I'd really like to get this on the needles and do something fun with it. I would, this is amazing. 
you know, um, I think what you can do is you use your bigger needles and you use fingering weight or some other whatever type of yarn and then this and then you have the same size needles but you stripe through the different rows so it'll be lacier big airy stitches with this and then the fingering weight would be tighter and then that creates your nice texture. Um, I've seen that done in the past. I've not done it but I've seen it. Do you want to see something that's super luxury? Bijou Basin Xanadu 100 percent cashmere yes do you see the label 100 percent cashmere uh yes please and 3.99 yes there was only one <laughs> there was only one of course i got it there was just the one 400 yards this is 50 grams obviously it's a hand wash uh lay flat to dry uh luxury fiber if you wanted to you've heard me discuss this and talk about it making socks of course I can make socks with this. These would be what I call the up in the air socks, the feet in the air socks. And, and what I mean by that, get your mind out of the butter, gutter. That's not what I meant. That's, you can do whatever you do you in your house. But what I meant by that is this is the one where you're, you've had a long day. You just need to relax and put your feet up. So you've got your feet on the ottoman, you know, you have a glass of wine or tea or whatever it is, you know, you got to have the finger up. You have to have the finger up. It tastes different. It just does. You have to have the whole snobby thing. So you have that. And then you imagine having servants, i.e. you make your kids go get you something, whatever, if you have kids around, but you know, that type of thing, that's what this is for. So if you did make socks with it, you're not going to wear them on your boots and your tennis shoes and stuff. You're going to wreck them. But you can have them as your luxury. You can have them as the, just the, you know, you know, kind of like the people who um, take long baths and light like 20 or 30 candles like we see in the movies. Do people really do that? Huh. I don't know if they actually do that, but I've seen it in the movies a whole bunch. So maybe, I, I don't know. I've never done that, but it'd be along the same lines, right? That, that same thing. And then um, Bijou Basin was a, uh, uh, farm in Colorado and they sold their yarns in multiple locations. They are no longer an operating farm, but that's what that was from. Okay. Uh, so I don't know how much that sells for now. I did try to look that up because hello, I'm curious. And then I got this. Oh my gosh. Bijou Spun, uh, also from Bijou Basin Farm Ranch. And this is the uh, Seraphim. This is quality yak fibers and yarns. Okay. So this is 95% Angora, 5% viscose. This is the 50 grams, 435 yards, recommending using a zero to a three for your uh, knitting needle. And I would use probably a size B, a C or B for the crochet hook. I forget what the millimeters are on that. I think the C is 2.75. So I would use that or smaller. Depends on how lacy you want it. I got three of these. I have three. Whoa, okay, one down. I have three of these gorgeous colors. I mean, that is stunning. So that is twelve over 1,200 yards. That's almost 13, well, a little over 1,300 yards. 1,300 yards of a fingering weight. Depending on the pattern, I could actually get a shell out of it. Not a full sweater. Yeah, because I'm not petite, right? But I could, depending on the pattern, do something along that line. This would be a gorgeous shawl. This would be, um, you know, that that type of a huge stole if you wanted to. Uh, or the, you know, I, I like the crescent shawls just for wearability. Um, but there's a lot of options with this. It's stunning. And, and I have some Bijou Basin um, in my yarn stash and everything that I purchased in the past. And I've done some test knits for them many years ago. My stuff was on display at one of the yarn shops, but that was like a decade plus ago. So that was really a nice blast from the past seeing that. And then, you know, um, look at this. I got Noro. Noro sock yarn. Noro's pricey. I don't know how much their sock yarn is full price, but Noro is a pricey yarn. It's known for their colorways. It's a Japanese yarn. It is known for their colorways and the the rough kind of texture, just natural. That's a good way to put it. It's a natural texture and the way the spinning is. I've not made socks with their sock yarn. Um, I mean, you can make anything you want, of course. But uh, that's what this is, is their sock yarn blend. It's over 400 yards. They've got the sticker over the, over that. Um, can I see what it's made from on this one? Nope, got the sticker over that too. So I'm going to have to peel stickers off. But this is, like I said, one of their sock yarns. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then this one snuck in my cart. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I would not have gotten it 
but it did sneak in. Uh, this is Juniper Moon. There's nothing wrong with Juniper Moon. Absolutely wonderful. But this is one of their cotton blends, and I didn't want any cotton blends. Uh, this is 30% rayon, 30% merino wool, and 40% cotton. And this is 100 grams, 218 yards. So it is a worsted weight yarn in a nice neutral color. There's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely beautiful. I just didn't want to buy any of the cottons. There were a lot of uh, modern cottons um, and uh, Barocco um, Weekend, which is another cotton blend. And I didn't get any of those. So this one snuck in. So there you go. I got the other natural fibers and the other natural blends, you know, uh, it's fine. And, and some of the weights that I like, that type of stuff. So I thought that was kind of fun. This one I thought was just adorable and gorgeous. Look at that. So you've got the bunny on the label. This is Sock Bunny Studios. I haven't heard from them, heard of them, but you know, this is from somebody's stash. So I don't know how old these things are. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, this is called Lavender Lace Weight, 80% superwash merino, 20% bamboo, 875 yards for 100 grams. 875 yards of a beautiful lace weight yarn I got for $3.75. This one hank of yarn would make a gorgeous shawl you know the ones that have like the wheat and stuff on them you know we've seen the sweaters like that this would be gorgeous that would be absolutely stunning it feels amazing it's that merino wool and and you know just the bamboo it is so soft and so yummy and squishy yes this is absolutely gorgeous and oh no that is not all i got this stuff and i had to look it up Oh, look at that. Yes. Does it match what I have on? Yes. I would totally wear earrings like this if I wore earrings, but I don't. But I have a big, huge necklace that's pretty uh, gaudy, gaudy and audacious. So I'm good with that. Look at that. It matches my little guy. So this right here is a yarn from Sweden. I had to look it up, right? So it's, it's not, it's not in English. And I looked that up. This is silk. It's a hundred percent ecologically sourced silk. Okay. But I did have to use the Google Translator, so <laughs> I didn't know. And with that lime green, that super bright green that we know I enjoy so much, yes, I had to get both of them, $4 each. I don't know the exact yardage. I would guess it's going to be at that 400 yards each. Um, most Well, no, it says, it says uh, 200 meters. So it does say, it does say right here, what? It does say that, so 200 meters. So it's, it's a little bigger than I thought, but I have two of them, so I have 400 meters. There you go. Isn't that fun? I mean, that is amazing. I have no idea how much this stuff would have cost somebody originally. Absolutely no clue. I just know I am tickled. And then I got another one. Oh, Kiki Boo. So I had one of these earlier, Kiki Boo. This is hand dyed in Castle Rock, Colorado. This is a fingering weight yarn. This one's 80% merino and 20% nylon, 400 yards. And the colorway is called uh, Flamingos. And this was originally $23. I guess you can't really tell. Sorry. Originally $23 to somebody. So Kiki Boo Handmade Bags and Gifts, hand dyed in Castle Rock, Colorado. That's exciting. So that's a beautiful pink. And then I have this little yellow uki cake or something uki something i don't know i can't tell underneath the whatever uh so this is the soprano sock it's 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon 100 grams 425 meters chantilly chantilly is the colorway isn't that gorgeous that is such a pretty light pink it is just absolutely beautiful there's so many fun things here and then these um I grabbed and then I put back and they ended up back in my cart um maybe it's because there's so much orange in them yeah yeah I think so I think so yes I I believe it's because of all the oranges this is these are all three of them are this is the brand Dancing Dog Dye Works Waltz Worsted. They're 100% superwash merino, 218 yards. I have the three different colorways of this. This is bento box. So I'm wondering, do they stripe? You know what I mean? Because this, this to me looks like a candy corn, but I wonder if they're a striping yarn or, you know, because I don't think they're like a variegated. I think they're going to stripe up. This one right here is Ode to Fall. I'm going to have to look that up. 
I'm going to look them, look them up and see. And this one is pumpkin patch two stripe. Okay, so they are striping yarns. And I got these thinking they would make great hats since I've been trying to do more hats and things like that. This is hand wash, but it's a nice wool, right? Um, but I have three of these. Worsted weight yarn, 218 yards each. All have gorgeous oranges in them. Pretty sure that's why they made it into my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mad Mimi's um, crochet and farming. Yeah, she's another orange fan. We like oranges. It's okay. And then I got this. I mean, we, we know I like those neutrals in the browns. This is Malabrigo. This is the color Arable. I think I have some of that. A-R-B-O-L. It is kettle dyed, pure superwash merino wool, machine washable in cool water, dry flat. I wouldn't machine wash it. I'm just going to throw that out there. You're going to have some dye leakage and you don't want to do that to your beautiful yarn. This was originally $21 and it is stunning. And this mat matched with some of my other fingering weight yarn, everything has striped through. It'd be gorgeous with the shawl. Think um, all the super color work like Stephen West does. It doesn't have to be by him, but that style with all the different colors and the different things that you've seen, this would be gorgeous in there to add as the neutrals for that. This one I thought was great because don't we like to have white on hand? This is vintage. I have six of these. Holy cow, six. They are in two different dye lots. Two of them are one dye lot, four of them are in the other. That's okay. This is a super wash wool. It is um, 218 yards. I think it's 218. Uh, yep, 218 yards, 100 grams, made in Peru. Machine wash inside out in cold water, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. This is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. And it is gorgeous. This is stunning. Six skeins, six of a worsted weight yarn and a wonderful neutral color. Great for blankets too. It doesn't always have to be sweaters, but great for blankets. Add your other stuff to it. There you go. So that is wonderful. I just dropped a couple. And then I got this. This is not label, but I know what it is. Look at this. You're like, yeah, but it's just brown. Oh, ho, ho. This is from one of the local farms. This is alpaca. This is local farm, homegrown alpaca yarn. Three skeins. I'm not sure of the yardage. Um, that is okay. But isn't that just gorgeous? It is absolutely divine. Yes, I have been to the alpaca store enough. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I got to go and do a tour at one of the alpaca ranches and got to see over 50 of their um, alpaca. We got to see the babies. We got to see the adults. And, and it was so much fun. And we got to go in their little alpaca store where they had some of the yarns. Like, hey, remember that one that you pet out there? That's this one, right? And we got to see that. That's what this is. Yes, that's what this is. These generally go around 30 some odd dollars each. $3.99. $3.99. Yes all day long, $3.99. And then I got one more yarn. I got, this is Malabrigo Silky Wool. Let's see if I can pull it up over here. This is the Malabrigo Silky Wool. It is 51% silk, 49% merino wool. It's approximately 150 yards for 50 grams. I got it in the color Topaz. And then look at this. I got eight of them. 1200 yards of a silk and merino wool blend right here it is stunning absolutely stunning and i mean that's a sweater quantity you know it depends on again size dependent add a skein or two of something else right you got this uh yeah so this is a yeah 150 yards 51 percent for i was trying to see if anything if it said anything about the needle size no it doesn't but that is my yarn haul of luxury fibers. I have never done that before. As a matter of fact, I stopped going to the Goodwill in my neighborhood because um, the last time, and I haven't gone in years, I literally have not gone in years. My daughter-in-law said, hey, you wanna go? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going with my youngest granddaughter and we're gonna go to the Goodwill. Do you wanna meet us? I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll go hang out because I wanted to see family. And I had no hopes of 
actually find anything. The last couple times I was there, it was, um, everything was overpacked. It, it, you know, you couldn't really look at any of the clothes and, and it was the, the, the clothes that were stained, you know what I'm getting at? I mean, they were just the, that shouldn't be on a rack or anything along that line. And, and it was disorganized and it was the broken stuff and you didn't want to buy something because you're like, oh good, it's going to go back to Goodwill because it doesn't work. Right. Um, so I was so shocked. I got a pair of boots. I got, uh, some other things. I got a lot of stuff, not just yarn. I got a shirt that I'll be able to wear to work. So, you know, I mean, if I felt like trying on pants, I'm sure I could have gotten the full outfit, but no, nah, uh -uh. you know, I mean, it, it was really a nice change and it was so shocking to get all of this. And I went overboard. I didn't buy it all, by the way. I did not buy it all. If you think that I took everything, I did not. There was a lot I left. But, you know, this was um, more than I needed is a good way to put it. Uh, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to have some of my friends over and going, would you like some luxury yarns too? And share the wealth. You know how that goes. But uh, I just had to share. I'm like, oh my gosh, tell me. If you've ever had that happen to you, if you ever got that lucky score, whether it's, it doesn't matter what it is, yarn, toys, you know, if you got all the Christmas shopping for $10 and normally it'd be a hundred, whatever, you know, whatever it was, what is your lucky thing that you just happened to walk in on the right day and get it, right? You know, and then after that, I'd gone over to Walmart to pick up a couple things that I needed and uh, they had ice cream on sale for 50 cents. I walked away. I just saying, I walked away. I just, you know, that would have, you know, yesterday me might have gotten a few. It was, it was the Christmas cakes, those Christmas shaped cakes, Little Debbie's Christmas cake ice cream. What? And it was clearancing for 50 cents. I walked away. I'm like, keep going, keep going. You need nothing. You know, the only food item I bought at Walmart? Celery. Because I want to make tuna melts. Weird. I know. Just whatever. Okay, tangent. Anyway, yarn, amazing. Had an absolute blast. Tell me what your scores are and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do or something. I don't know. I got to figure out where I'm going to put this. This, if you didn't notice, is this huge bag and it is overflowing with yarns. I mean, it's just, yeah, it is something else. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.